Print presents Gar Show International Awards 2019. Unforgettable experience on a houseboat in the, the backwaters. So when you add that to the fact that you have a, you are, you know, you are loving, welcoming, fantastic people. So that together makes it for a very nice place to be and visit. So we are going to send a lot of Norwegians and Scandinavians or Scandinavians to to do that. That's at least our goal. We will do that. Uh, one thing that you know um, stuck with me was when me and John was uh, you know out and about, and, and and John started a conversation with somebody, and it was like uh, when the conversation was done and we went on our way, I had to ask him, John, like uh, who, who's that? Was it your friend? You're not yet another cousin, or who? who? But he replied that no, it was. Just, just somebody you met, and and I think the there's something in the tone that for me it resembles like somebody you know is a tone you speak to to somebody you you you, you know you have a relationship with. To you, that's probably normal. That, that's just probably just how you are, and and that's that's amazing. Uh, you probably wouldn't pick up on it because. It's like a, you know, a fish don't know what water is. It's just who you are. But with me coming from Norway, um, not, to, not to talk down Norwegians, but but we are more more introvert. I think we're known to be one of the most introvert people in the world. But um, 
don't worry with all the outgoing people in the hospitality business. So it's, you won't you want know this. But we have a tendency to get, you know, if we see our neighbor over the picket fence, it's just like a, a nod and turn around. Or if you, if you, if you the, the doorbell rings, you'll be behind your curtain to see who it is before you reluctantly open the door. It didn't used to be like that. But uh, I remember when I was young, I was running to the door when the door was ringing. I don't know what happened. But uh, I, I, I kind of envy that, that, that uh, the way you are. I don't know what's the reason. It's, it's strange because, you know, we are barely five million people. It's like a small village in your country, right? So you think that everybody knows everybody, but uh, no, we are kind of closed up. I don't know if it's if it's uh, you know we should be we should be more grateful, thinking you know, we were like one of the richest countries in the world based on number of people living here. But um, we're not the most happy people. I think we're we're. You are. It's like when we when we're gathered here today to present awards for outstanding performance in different aspects. It's it's dawning on me that work ethics and you know full concentration on the task at hand is is kind of in the Caroline's DNA. I don't know if you would agree, but that's the way it seemed to me, knowing these guys. But most, most importantly, we have to thank both uh, Garsham and Nanma, being the noble organizations they are, and also everyone winning these uh, awards tonight. Because to me, it's like you found, you know, the reason, the question, why are we here? Why are we living? So what's the human purpose? Uh, and to me, I think we're here to learn, and we're here to live our life in service to others. And that's something you all are doing. You are living your life in service to others, and that's, that's to me very, that's amazing. If we all did that, I think uh, this world would be a quite different place. And I'm sure if you can, if somebody asked you, of course you're all you're all very um, successful in in different businesses, and but if somebody asked you what gave you the most fulfillment, if it's the business, you know, the the, the income or the money or the, or the fulfillment of actually doing some for, something for somebody else, I think the the answer is pretty clear, is it? Or what do you think yourself? That's at least one mine. Actually, Albert Einstein said that a life worth, like, so a life not lived in life uh, service to others is not a uh, life worth living. And I think if everybody lived a life in service to others and was grateful for what they have, the, that would be the different, different place. That being said, I think I'm going to cut it short, or not short, I mean longer than I should. But uh, thank you very much, and Namaste and Namaskaram.